Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Chip Waters here again. We're going to talk a little bit today about a new uh, uh, portal experience that we're creating for Alamo Reality, uh, the Alamo project that will be shipping in March. There we are. We're identifying a ground plane there, and there's our portal. And as you can see, uh, we're again outside at, at the ranch. But as you can look through here, you can see from one angle to another, you can see that there's actually the Alamo in 1836 exactly as it looked and <clears throat> as we move over to the right we'll see there's actually one of the six pound can six pound uh six pounder uh, the cannons uh uh that was used to defend the alamo right right there so let's walk on in we'll walk in here and look around and as you can see uh i'm actually walking across the field and going over towards the cannon uh, there's the palisade fence and the gate that people ex exited out and there's a of course the uh, uh, this is the uh, the actual entrance to the Alamo you can look in there this there's the ramp where the uh, where the uh, platform for the other cannons were stored up there and uh, now we're going to keep looking around a little bit more um, and up there's a disc there on the ground so let's go over here We'll take a little closer look at that disc. Actually, let's look out the door first. There's actually the ranch going uh, through the door. You can see, uh, but there's that disc, that funny-looking disc. So what happens? What happens if we stand on this disc? So I'm gonna go over and stand up. Now we're going up. So this is pretty cool because uh, we're now able to actually view this whole experience and all of a sudden actors show up and start walking around and we're getting quite a different um, level of experience now here we're not showing the shadows and it's part part of the settings that were created which uh, aren't correct we'll have to fix that but uh, this is still a work in progress but just thought it might be worth uh, taking a look I'll shut up now and let uh, let this finish itself thanks and his 12 boys from Tennessee. The Palisade, between the church and the front gate. They'd already done what they could to fortify this area, with a fence made from wooden stakes and an abatis, a simple barrier of cut trees, branches pointing out at the attackers. There was also a small cannon, a six-pounder. Now, maybe it doesn't sound like much, but if you were trying to get inside the walls, you had to hack your way through a tangle of branches. 30 feet from sharpshooters who could hit a bear at 200 yards. Yeah, during that battle, Mexican Colonel Juan Morales and his men studied the palisade and decided to redirect their assault. Given a choice between the abatis on the southeast side, a wood fence, a bunch of sharpshooters from Tennessee, and the huge cannon on the southwest corner, Morales chose the cannon. The Palisade had been the weakest position at the Alamo, but ended up being the most capable, thanks to simple ingenuity and a few bear hunters from Tennessee.